بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته. السلام عليكم. اول شيء جزاه الله خير هاز كومبليتد صوره القصص اند ذن هي موفد تو صوره العنكبوت ذا ويب اند ذن افتر صوره العنكبوت توداي ان شاء الله اولسو ذي ويل بي كوفرين صوره الروم. So today I'm going to cover, since I covered uh, Al-Qasas yesterday, two surahs for me today, inshallah. Al-Ankabut and Al-Rum. Al-Ankabut means web. Both of these surahs are Mecca surahs and considered to be from the Al-Mathani. Those of you, just to remind you quickly, you know, the seven at are the seven long ones. And then you have Al-Mi'een, those who are about 100 ayat or a little bit over. And then anything below, you have what we call Al-Mathani. So both Surah Al-Ankabut and Surah Al-Rum are considered to be from Al-Mathani and they are both Mecca Surahs. Except Surah Al-Ankabut, you have verse number 10 and 11, they are Madani Surah, uh, Madani Ayat. Madani Ayat, but the rest is all, you know, Mecca Surahs or Mecca Ayat. With regard to Surah Al-Ankabut, the web, one of the main reasons as to why this Surah was revealed, and this may relate to a lot of us here today, especially the youth and their parents. The story of Sa'd Nabi Waqqas, the Sahabi Sa'd Nabi Waqqas and his mother. When he embraced Islam, his mother came to him and she says, I shall not eat nor drink until I die. Even if I were to die, you have to revert back to Jahiliyyah. I will stop eating and drinking until you denounce Islam. He did not know what to do. And she kept on, you know, not eating and not drinking and not eating and not drinking. And then he came to tell her at some point, he says, Mom, if you have 100 souls to die one after another, for me to denounce Islam, I will not denounce Islam. You want to eat, eat. If you don't want to eat, don't eat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed an ayah from Surah Al-Ankabut. وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حُسْنَا وَإِنْ جَاهَدَاكَ لتشرك به ما ليس لك به علم فلا تطعهما وبالوالدين احسن الله has decreed that you honor your parents that you honor your parents and if they were to strive to make you denounce your religion denounce your faith فلا تطعهما if they were to strive to ask you to do something haram فلا تطعهما do not obey them this is the only case where one should not obey their parents other than that we should honor them our parents. So this ayah now starts talking about al-fitan, starts talking about temptations, starts talking about the struggle and the struggle towards these, you know, towards these temptations. Brothers and sisters, temptations may take several forms. Temptations may take uh, the form of uh, a man being seduced by men being seduced by women or women being seduced by men. So, so the fitna of uh, of the children, the fitna of uh, of your wealth, the fitna. There's so many forms of fitna, but the most dangerous form of fitna is fitna fit deen, the fitna of the deen. We ask Allah Azza wa Jalla not to make us endure any fitna on the deen, any other fitna, but not in our deen. Inshallah Taala. And then Allah Azza wa Jalla talks about the struggles of the prophets towards this fitna, the st the struggle of. Uh, of uh, Nuh alayhi salam. Allah mentions his story in Surah An Ankabut. Nuh alayhi salam, when he struggled for 1,000 years, less than 50. And this is a st small stop, small pause. I'm going to pause here. Uh, Allah says, Alfa sanatin illa khamsina ama. If you were to look into translation, they will say 1,000 years minus 50 years. But Allah says, Sana, and He says, Am. You see, the Arabic is a beautiful language. Arabic is a very rich language. Sana am may not mean the same thing. In fact, they do not mean also the Arab, they may use them, you know, but we normally use Sana or am depending. But in the language of the Arab at the time, Sana is used for tough years. And am is used for easy years. But here in English, they just say, if you look at the translation, they say 1000 years minus 50. But what it really means, Nuh alayhi salam, he struggled for 950 years. 900 years minus 50. 900 of, you know, trying to, you know, uh, talk to his people and give da'wah and whatnot. The struggle of so of the other prophets, Allah Azza wa Jalla talk about some of them in Surah Al-Kabul. And then Surah 
of Rome. Surat of Rome, the Romans, is also, as I mentioned, is a Mecki surah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about his signs. I mean, ayati. If you look and read Surat of Rome, it starts with Ghulibat of Rome. At the time, the Prophet Muhammad and the Sahaba, they were, you know, they were following the news as to what was happening out there. And then there was this battle that happened between the Romans and the Persians. The Sahaba, they wanted the Romans to win the battle. Why? Because the Romans, they were from Ahlul Kitab. They were from the people of the book. So Allah Azza wa revealed, غُلِبَتِ الْغُمْ فِي أَدْنَ الْأَرْضِ the, room, the Romans have been defeated, but they will come back and they will win again. And then Allah has just talked about that story, and then He mentions, start talking about His signs. The signs of Allah in this universe. The sign, Allah Azzawajal, some of the signs Allah start talking about the creation of mankind, the creation of as samai wal ab, as samawat wal the creation of the heavens and earth, the creation of the fact that we're, we're the diversity in our languages, the diversity of our background. You know, all these are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And at the end, an ayah that will change your life. An ayah that will change your life, I'm going to take it from Salt of Rome as well. Salt of Rome, verse number 21. But here's a quick test for all of us here today. A quiz. Who remembers an ayah that will change your life, which I've mentioned on my very, very first, very first uh, uh, khatira. The very first day of Ramadan, the second day of Ramadan, when we talked about Surah Al-Baqarah. Every day or every time I talk about an ayah that will change your life. Surah Al-Baqarah. What ayah did I mention that changed your life? Uh, who said ayah al-Kursi? And who said ayah al-Kursi? And who said ayah al-Kursi? Who said ayah number 69? 69 what? 69 what? 69 stripes? What's 69? Uh, is it 69? 68? I don't know. Who said, I, you said I took Kursi first. You said I took Kursi first. Here it is. He said it first. Because I love you, I'm just going to give you one. Okay? I don't want you to. And because I love you too, I'm going to give you one. Right? It's I took Kursi. So this is a quiz as to what's to come, inshallah, to Adam, the number 29th. Don't you love everyone? I love everyone, but I only have to, This is for me, man. <laughs> Ayah that will change your life, verse number 21 from Surah al -Hum. Who's married? <laughs> Who's single? Who's happy? <laughs> Sisters, listen up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ Again, from amongst His signs. أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ And amongst his signs is that he had created amongst you mates, husbands and wives. For what reason? لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا And to dwell into one another. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً Allah says, and he has put amongst spouses, مَوَدَّةً and Rahmah. Who speaks Arabic? What is the difference between Mawadda and Hub? Even the Arabs, they don't know. What is the difference between Mawadda comes from the name of Allah, Al Wadud? Huh, but the Wadud? Mawadda comes from the name of Allah, Al Wadud. What is Wadud? How do you translate Wadud in English? Are you married? <laughs> You're only five years old. He says, I know. What is the name of Allah Wadud in English? Huh? Ablution? Al Wadud is ablution. Al Wadud is ah wudu. Yeah, that's what he meant to say. Wudu. <laughs> because that, because in the maze I'm gonna give you this. This is this is high. This is this is nothing. This is here. Not for you, my brother. For him. Yeah. Wadud, you ablution, man. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not what Al Wadud is the most affectionate. Allah did not call himself Al Mahbub. Allah called himself the Al Wadud, the most affectionate. What is the difference between Hub and Wood? Hub is a feeling. Hub mean, in Arabic means love, Shaykhna. You know these things. You know. Hub means love. Affection 
is different than love. Affection is the translation of those feelings into action. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called himself Al-Wadud. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And he has put amongst you affection and mercy. Affection comes in first, Addan Rahmah. Brothers and sisters, especially the sisters, you know, please remember this, brothers, right? Remember this. What is this? Quran, right? And what are these? There are pages, but what? Ayat, exactly. Allah says, and amongst his ayat, is that he has put amongst you your mates, your spouses. Your wife, she is an ayah from ayatullah. The way you respect this Quran, the way you respect this ayah, you have to respect your spouses. How about this one, huh? The sister is like, hey, right, yeah, please remember this. This is, this is what Allah is saying in the Quran. I'm not saying this is what Allah is saying in the Quran. Respect one another, venerate one another, make dua for one another, and live with the name of Allah al Wadud, bringing love to your homes, inshallah ta'ala. Barakallahu feekum, sakum, wa khair, salam alaykum, wa barakatuh.